I'm going to explain how you can make an effects rack preset. To follow along, bring in any two files that you want to. Even one file would be enough. But in my case, I brought in the vocal excerpt here from the Music Just Couldn't Be That Way subfolder. There it is. And then the instrumental mix, I brought that in from the Just Too Hard to Find subfolder right there. But you can bring in any file or files that you want. Now up to this point, we've talked about a couple of ways to make presets. In the Favorites menu, you can make a preset simply by starting to record a favorite and then add an effect, customize that effect, apply it, add another effect, customize it, apply it, etc. And when you're done, you stop recording and then you give it a name. Then the name shows up here as a preset and this preset becomes a one-click application of whatever number of effects and properties you selected. Just like that, it applies one, two, three effects in this case and it's done. And it creates this sound. And you have no options. You have no properties to change. It's just done. Whatever you selected and created in your preset, it's a one-click thing and you're done. Now I'm going to undo that by pressing Ctrl or Command Z three times because it was three effects. Once, twice, three times. And now we're back to normal. And you can tell we're back to normal because there's no asterisk next to here. So it's an unchanged file. So that's how you make the favorite. You can also make a preset within an effect. So you go to effects, for example, and pick reverb and go to studio reverb, for example. And let's say you decide to change vocal reverb medium. You want to make it a little less dry, a little wetter, a little more reverb that way. Change the room size, make the room size larger, for example. Change the decay, for example. Something like that. See if you like it. I couldn't give you so now you've updated that customized, that preset there. And now what you can do is you can save it by clicking this button. And if you just click OK, you will replace that original preset with your updated version. Or you can make an entirely new one by typing in something, giving it a name. I'll just call it Jeff's Vocal Reverb. And now that'll show up here in this drop-down list in the future. I could go back to this reverb with its 6040 setting, for example. And I can go to my reverb with its slightly updated version of the wet and dry and other stuff as well. So that's the basic process of making a favorite, making a customized setting within an effect. But the big deal here is that you can make a customized effects rack effect, which is pretty cool because an effects rack effect typically has multiple effects with multiple property customization within those effects. And this way you have these guys available to you. And then when you apply it, you can always customize it later. Unlike favorites, it's a one click deal. Here you make one click, but you can update it later. So let's start by looking at a preset right now, and then we'll decide what we do with that later. So we'll go with, mm, let's see here, Faraway Source, for example. Faraway Source has three effects within it, one of which is reverb, which is maybe not suitable for real-time playback, it says here. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to put those three guys on this one clip here and play it for a second. Give you what you want. And that's it. Now, if I want to update this, if I want to customize it, I decide, you know, for my purposes, I want to change these effects in some way. So again, I could make it a little bit wetter, for example, a little bit drier, make the room different, I make the pre-delay a little shorter, whatever I want to do, make it more reflective, things like that. And then I close it. You'll notice that now this preset has an asterisk next to it. Let's say I change the fast Fourier transform filter by adding another point to it, something like that, maybe bring the treble down a little bit, something along those lines. I've now customized that as well. It was customized to begin with. So now I've changed it. So I've changed this original preset. All I have to do is click this button here to save that effect as a new version of that. I can just say, OK, and I'll replace the old version. Or again, I could give this a name, and that will show up as a separate preset. I can delete all these guys, just to make sure you can see this really is the real deal. I could change to a different file and apply this Jeff's Faraway source to it and get the same message again. I'll go back and look at Reverb, and you'll see that we change the wet, dry changes we made. And we'll go to FFT Filter, and you'll see those are the changes we made to the FFT Filter. So we took an existing effects rack preset and changed it. Well, we can also start from scratch. I'll back this up a bit here. Let's say we want to do a vocal enhancement. I'll go back to you, down to Special, Vocal Enhancer. Make sure it's female, okay. Close that. So we'll add a reverb. So we'll go to reverb and we'll add the studio reverb. And we'll make it, well, you could make it mine, but I'll just make it medium like this. And make a couple changes, sort of the same way we made the favorites. And go on, let's say, and get the chorus, which is in modulation, chorus. We'll make it five voices, something really large like that. 
and we'll close that. And we've now made this group of effects here in the effects rack. We've changed the properties of each one, and now we can create our own preset by clicking on this button. The same we'll call this one Jeff's special reverb or something along those lines and click OK. And this is now available for future use. And then if I think, OK, I'm going to apply this to something like this instrumental mix, I'll apply Jeff's reverb to that instrumental mix. And I'm going to think, hmm, maybe I don't really like it exactly the way it is. Perhaps I don't really need the vocal enhancer. I'll just uncheck that. And so you have the opportunity in the future, even though you have your own preset, which you know has some certain settings that you like, you have the option, because it's in the effects rack, to change the properties, even to turn off or delete one of these effects, and just use it as a starting point. So that kind of gives you a sense of the overall picture of all the presets that you can have. You can have a preset, which is called a favorite, which is a one button thing, a preset within an effect, and then an effects rack preset with multiple effects with the opportunity to change the properties whenever you apply this preset.